In this video, we'll learn with the help of macros, how do we open an existing file? How do we write some text into that, save it and finally close it. So these four things we'll be saving, open a file, write something, save it and close it. So let us see that which file I'll open it. I'll show you first. I have a folder that is E drive inside that E drive. I have a file named as demo book. So I'll just double click and open and show you the book right now. This book is totally empty. It has only one sheet which is given and the name of the file is demo book. So I'll just close this file itself now. Now what I'll do is I'll open the same demo book in the E drive, write something into that demo book and then save it and close it. So you can see here what I can do is I can just go to this developer tab, click on this visual basic. I've already written macro into this place. So if you see, I've created here a module named as workbook open close and I've written some lines of code. That's some macro here. So I'll just explain you what I've written. I've written as workbooks. You can see workbooks dot open and that is the file name. Which workbook do you want to open? File name that is e drive demo book dot xlsx. So that is the path and the file name which I want to open. Second is workbooks demo book uh, demo book dot xlsx dot sheets. I am trying to go to the cell. So I have to go first workbook, then sheets, then range. And then I'm trying to type some value into that equal to Excel. Okay. And finally, the last two lines, if you know, if you remember that, that is nothing but save and close. Okay. So very important thing, what I'm showing you here is workbooks.open. That is file name. That's the location of the file and the path name of the file is given. And finally writing, saving and closing it. So what I'll do is I'll execute this step by step. So you can see what is exactly happening. If I click on this step into and you see if I click on step into now this file that is demo book dot XLS will open this file will be replaced with that demo workbook. Okay, if I click on this place and if you see the blinked the screen blinked actually and the workbook was open that was demo book. Okay, now in this demo book what I want is I want to type something in the cell number if you see range A1 to A20 that is Excel. So if I execute this observe in A1 to A10 what will happen A1 to A20. That is A1 to A20 entire data has been come. If you see sheets one range A1 to A20 Excel. The next part is nothing but I have to save the workbook and close the workbook. So I'll just execute step by step again. If you see, if I click on step into that is saved. If I step into it will just close. And again, I'm back to the same file that is Excel VBA workbook referencing. Now what has happened is the file is closed. The data is written. If I open the same file from that drive, let me see what is exactly in that file. If I open that folder, yeah, this is the demo book. If I just double click on that book and if you see A1 to A20, already the data is there and the name of the file is demo book itself, right? So I'll just close this file and close this macro book, right? So I hope you're able to understand how do we open a file, write something, save it and close it with the help of macros. That's all for this video.